What's up everybody? I'm Dale and this is my newest project, my 98 CG5. Welcome back, everybody. And <laughs> I knew you wanted to say something. You want to want to say what we're doing today? Wait, you about to get swat? Oh, so th today is part two of doing the brakes and rotors. <laughs> yeah. So um, the only difference in the front and the rear is you have to use this little cube thing and spin the caliper to get it to go in instead of just compressing it like the front. So today, hopefully, it should be. I'm hoping it'll be just as smooth as yesterday. Okay guys, so I've already ran into why this thing is so cheap. These bits, all of the big ones have already snapped off. It only comes with two of them and both of them are snapped off. So I did manage to get one of the screwed out, but it's one more on that side. So what I'm about to do is try to go by Lowe's and see if they just sell the bits like this. And if I can get a stronger bit, then I can use that. Okay guys, so it is now the next day. And um, let me tell you why it's the next day and I haven't finished this side. If you look, well, it's getting dark on us already, of course. But right there, can't really see, but this one is out. This one is stripped. So, yeah, that's not good. Um, so what I did was, today when I got off work, I ended up, going to um, O'Reilly's and grabbing a drill bit and I'm gonna just try to drill straight through it in hopes to just if I can drill far enough and it pops loose I can just take it off I'm not putting them back you don't need them so I'm gonna get the drill and try to drill this out hopefully the battery don't die on that if that works then I can hopefully go on and switch this side out and we'll be through now before it gets too dark on us I'm gonna go on and show y'all this side as you can see, this rear is complete, as well as both fronts are complete. I just have to get that one last side over there and we'll be done and it'll, it'll be fully completed. So let me grab the drill and see what I can do. What is going on guys? So it is now Friday and um, I haven't, I still haven't got this fucking side done yet and it's really causing me a lot of the trouble here but uh as you can see i've been trying to drill it out and i'm um, just not having much luck i just broke another bit this shit hard as a brick so i'm gonna try another bit and see but um yeah if i could just get it far enough to break loose i'd be happy but I just can't get it there. But let me show y'all something. See, um, last night we had a hurricane, Hurricane Michael. I don't know how many of y'all know about it, but um, not too much damage aside from this tree fell, or this slight tree. It's like a small branch or something. But this fell like right behind the house. But other than that, um, no real 
major things happen. There were a lot of shingles in the backyard and I'm pretty sure they came from my house. So, yeah, there were about five or six of them, so I'm pretty sure they came from my house. So I'm gonna have to um, try to get up there and look up top and see if I can figure out <clears throat> how bad it is and what's gotta be replaced. But other than that, um, doesn't look too bad. Uh, yeah, it doesn't look too bad. Shop seems to be Gucci. That's a plus. Really the only tree that scares me around here is this one. That's a tall ass tree. And if she come down, she gonna smash my shot. So I might end up trying to get that took down sometime or another. See, this one ain't as bad, but that one is a tall ass tree. So I might end up trying to get that took down sometime or another, just, just for safety. But um, hopefully, hopefully that's our last one for this year. Cause uh, yeah, I don't, I don't need no more of that. That was a lot of wind. But thankfully, that's all the, the little damages we had that tree there, and whatever shingles came out the roof. The roof already old, so it probably probably needs replacing anyway. So that's probably why the brittle ones are popping off like that. But anyway. Back to the issue. See, this side is beautiful. Somebody bringing something. Somebody bringing something. But yeah, uh, if I can just get this side drilled, I got a whole bunch of cheap ass drill bits back here. And I think I'm about to start trying them. Just to save from having to go all the way back to Rocky Mount to try to get another bit. If I just start running through these, hopefully I can get somewhere before the drill dies anyway. So uh, yeah, I think I'm gonna try some of these out and see how they do. I want to say these right here are made for metal, but I don't know. I think these are made for metal. But I'm not too sure. But yeah, I'm gonna try to drill this some more. If I can get it drilled out, maybe since it's supposed to be nice the rest of the evening. I'm actually, guys, I'm actually supposed to be like on the way, like right now, to um up near the uh tail of the dragon for the um they got a classic Honda event up there. And I was supposed to go up there and, and ride with Steven Waddell, which like I said, I think I mentioned in a video before. If y'all don't know who that is, I'm gonna post. I'm gonna put a picture of his car right here so you'll know. But he got the red Civic. He was on Honda Street Garage a couple times, and I was supposed to be going up there and riding with them um, at least tomorrow. Then I was gonna come back Saturday, but I don't think I'm gonna make it, man. Cause I can't. I can't get this damn side off, and it's already Friday evening. And by the time I get this done, then I'm gonna have to drive and all that other stuff and. I don't know. So um, there is there is another show tomorrow in Virginia, and I may end up trying to take it up there if uh, again if I can get this side done. So if I get that took all tonight and get it fixed, then I I might take it out and get it washed because it's like a lot of debris and shit on it from of course a little wind and stuff that we had. But yeah, if I can get this side finished. Uh, I may take it somewhere and get it and clean it up a little bit and uh, yeah, maybe ride around, see who might be out. I'm really disappointed though, honestly, because I I always be wanting to go to these cool events with like more people that I know and I don't know, I just, it's always something with this, with this car, either something I'm trying to get done that always kind of hold me back from getting to where I need to be or where I want to be, so. I don't know. Oh, I don't know. Happy Friday, guys. I'm gonna uh, try to get this knocked out. If I do get it, you know, if I get it broke loose, I'll continue from there. Or when, I'm gonna say when, cause I gotta get this off sometime or another. So when I get it broke loose, I'll just continue this video from there. Hopefully it'll be this evening, but I don't know. So check in with y'all in a few. 
All right, guys. All right, guys. So, as you can see, I got it broke the fuck off. What I did was I kept drilling until I I just ran out of drill bits. Then I took this since I didn't have any more of the right bits. I used a regular flathead one for it, and I just kept on beating it into it and beating it into it. And eventually, it just popped it that thick ring out, which I threw away somewhere, but it popped the, the big part of it out, and now it's actually free. So I can actually, now once I pull the Calvin stuff, I can pull it off, stick the new one on. And guys, I'm gonna tell you, those things are a bitch. I swear, I did not know that was gonna be that hard. All the Every other one, man, just popped right out, but that one was just stuck in there. Damn. Okay, it's getting dark on us. Let's get this side took apart. I don't think I showed y'all the other side just because it was dark when I was doing it, so hopefully I can show y'all a little bit of this side and uh, show you how you turn the caliper instead of pushing it, you just turn it, you rotate it to put it in. So yeah, let me get this took apart right quick and then, yeah, we'll pick up from there. As you can see, there's not too much different. They are war, but um, it's not as noticeable as the fronts because we all know rears always last like three or four times longer than the front brakes because all your stopping force is up front. So, um, but since we got them, we're going to throw them on and uh, button this side back up. Before I start on it, put I'm gonna show y'all what I'm talking about with the rear caliper. So if you look here, see how it's got that slit in the middle? That's gotta be rotated to get the, the piston to go back inside so that you can slide it back over when you get your new pads on. And to rotate it, you, you uh, a lot of folks use flat heads. A lot of folks use, um, you know, pliers or stuff like that. I like to use this thing. Right here, I call it the cube. This thing ain't focusing with a foot. But I call it the cube. This is what I like to use because all you do is um, you stick, see this little center square? See that little center square right there? That goes in your, um, inside your ratchet like so. And then you will stick it in whichever side like goes for your car. So like say, for mine, I believe this is the right side. I don't know if I hit the nail on the head or not, but I think it's this because because it's got that long slit on mine, you have to have the two prongs, like you see this one and this one. You have to have these two lined up like in a row so that one will grab one end, one will grab the other end. Then when you turn, it'll rotate the whole um, assembly thing and slide it back in. I believe that's the right one. I think I hit the right one on the head. I did not mean to do that, guys, but... Yeah, I think that's the right one. So now all we got to do is, is stick it inside of here. Stick it inside and make the two things align with the um, slits on the caliper and rotate it in. And then that's pretty much how you do the rear. I know my talk is fucked all up, but 
yeah that's pretty much what this does and again you can use a flat head but mine mine are kind of hard so it's, I don't know how you do it with a flat head, but mine are kind of hard, so it's nice to have the ratchet so you can just crank down on it and rotate it in. But um, yeah, let me get that done right quick and then we'll resume after that. Jesus, that is the last side. So now all I got to do is throw this tire back on, and we're gonna see how well she does. Alrighty, guys, there you have it. There's the last one installed. I don't know how choppy this video is gonna be, but I'm gonna go ahead and wrap it up now because today is Friday and I have not uploaded yet. So I'm gonna go in the house, edit this just for y'all and get this up today so y'all will have one. And um, yeah, I will catch y'all in the next one. I appreciate everybody's support. Like, share, subscribe. Make sure you hit the little bell so you get notified. And I will catch y'all in the next one. Peace out, respect all bills.